Hello guys, welcome back to this series on pre-processing resting state fMRI data. In this video, we are finally going to club and combine all the things that we have learned till now, like realignment, uh, frame-wise displacement, segment skull strip, skull stripping, uh, pre-process, uh, co-registration, segmentation. <clears throat> making the different masks extracting the mean regression normalization and smoothing all in one video so that is script so we are going to make a script like this i mean i'm just going to explain this script not in very detail because a lot of chunks a lot of parts are actually all done in my previous videos so we are just going to club all, all of them so that when I press the run button, I get all my subjects pre-processed in just one, I mean, in just one click. I mean, not one, but you will need some more clicks as well. We'll see that. Okay. So that is the main motive for today's video, because say if I have say four subjects, so four subjects are very less, but say I have a hundred or a 200 subjects then using the GUI every time for uh, 100 uh, subjects is not feasible, right? It is, uh, you will need something that will automate your process. And scripting is that, I mean, script, scripting will uh, automate your entire process. Okay, so we'll see that. Okay, before that, uh, if you have seen the previous videos in this series, you may know that I switch from uh, MATLAB to AFNI or FSL sometimes in the middle. So say for skull stripping, we use, uh, we can use either AFNI, either FSL, uh, I mean, we can use any of the two, right? But now these actually require Linux. They cannot run on a Windows machine and I am using a Windows machine. So what to do? How can I uh, control AFNI and FSL with MATLAB? that is one question that you may ask and so that is one place and the other place is over here when you make a mask before regression <clears throat> so over here we actually make a mask before regression only the brain region is regressed not all the uh, voxels or not the background voxels right so how can we control fsl or uh, afni using matlab is also something that we are going to see today Okay, so since I am going to use a Windows subsystem, so for Linux, we are using this Windows subsy sub subsystem for Linux or WSL. <clears throat> I have installed Ubuntu 20 uh, over here. So because of this, what happens is, now this MATLAB is installed in Windows. This is in the Windows section. Now, in order to let the mat let MATLAB control WSL, what you'll have to do is you'll have to install another MATLAB inside WSL. Okay, so you'll have to install MATLAB in this small WSL operating system. Okay, don't make it very uh, heavy. So this small MATLAB will only be used for pre-processing. That's all. Okay, so you may not install all the different toolboxes that you actually need, but you can only install important toolboxes that are required only for pre-processing. Okay, that will uh, help you or enable you to get the access of the this terminal window, this Ubuntu terminal window via MATLAB. Okay, and we'll see that how, how we can do that. Okay. So now with this MATLAB, I cannot access the terminal over here. So say, uh, so there's this system command by which you can access the terminal. So over here, if I use this system command, it will access my Windows uh, CMD. So if you know the command prompt in Windows, this one. So if I type system over here, this system command, this is a function, inbuilt function in MATLAB this will uh, actually give me the access of the cmd which is windows command prompt 
okay however i don't want access to cmd but i want access to this wsl right so in order to get access to wsl what i'll have to do is i'll have to install matlab in wsl okay so i have done that so this was the first thing that i wanted to let you know is that install a small version of a version of matlab in wsl as well okay so let me just first go to an important i mean important directory so now let us start matlab okay here we are so this is the other matlab uh, that i've installed in the subsystem windows subsystem so just to verify what i was saying let me just keep both the matlab side by side so now here uh, say here when i type system system and say uh, let me do a simple command ls okay so when i do this so this actually gives me the output of the terminal so if i okay so now since uh, matlab is uh, so matlab is run using this particular wsl uh, command i mean wsl terminal i'll not be able to use the terminal uh, separately so this is the output of ls command if i would have uh, used the terminal <clears throat> you understand if i if i would have typed ls over here i would get this output however if i use the same system command over here it won't work because windows does not recognize ls so if you see cmd the windows command prompt this does not recognize ls okay so you can see the same output is over here so matlab returns the same output that uh, would have been if you would have typed ls in the terminal okay so since this is in windows this is this has access to the windows command prompt but we need access to this terminal that is the ubuntu terminal hence for that we'll have to install matlab inside uh, wsl if in case you want to uh, control afni and w uh, afni and fsl using the terminal so basically you can control the whole uh, wsl terminal using matlab now just using the system command okay so for this video i'll be using this matlab so that i have an access to fsl afni and all the different files okay so now let's get started so I'll not explain all the different line, all the lines over here step by step because there are a lot of lines over here, and it would actually take a, it would make this video uh, very long. So what I'll do is uh, I'll upload this particular file uh, somewhere, and I'll put the link in the description below, and I'll comment every line over here. So that you can understand what is the meaning of each and every line over here for now i have not commented all the lines but i'll do that okay so you can uh, just read and understand for yourself what every line is doing okay so that is how uh, we can proceed and actually if you see more or less uh, things are the same uh, the only things that you you may find new are these uh, these things the path and all these things because you uh, you have to give the path of the subject of the functional file the anatomical file and so on so these some things are would be uh, could be new for you but uh, i'll comment this very nicely so you will be able to understand each and every line if in case you are not able to understand you can always comment me uh below uh, on you in youtube and you can uh, and i'll be happy to answer all your questions okay so just get started i mean just let me explain you uh, the gist of this code okay <clears throat> so so the, this is like add path so just to 
add the path of SPM so that he knows uh, he can use MATLAB can use the SPM functions so that that is for that uh, then uh, this particular thing is to select a particular uh, directory so uh, okay let me just run this so that you understand uh, Let me put a breakpoint and run so that okay. So I've put a break. Okay, so what will happen is when you run this thing, you it'll say select a folder to open. Okay, so here you have to select the folder where you where your subjects are. So for me, I've kept four subjects over here in a batch folder. So these are the these are the subjects that I want to pre-process for now. So now this can be hundred. I mean, this can be any number of subjects over here that I want to pre-process. Okay, press open. Okay, so that particular window that you saw was possible because of this UI get directory. Okay, so uh, where whatever I choose in that goes into this path okay so if you see my path right so here you can see the path of that batch file that i just selected okay so this has the path of the directory which has all the subjects okay then cd path will change the directory this particular thing dir this this command will give me a list of all the folders that are there in the particular directory the path directory so these are my four subjects okay so these are some file related commands nt is equal to 152 is the number of time points that i have in a in a particular subject okay so for now i have 152 uh, time points in in all of these subjects you can change this when you change the data set or something right so if your data set has 500 data points or time points then you will put 500 over here okay and these are some files that you'll need uh, ahead so i'll not go in a lot detail uh, i'll just explain it uh, <clears throat> i'll just give you the gist and my comments will actually make things very clear okay so now let me just go a little faster so now let's come over here so this is the actual realignment that we do okay uh, let me just open SM, SPM as well so that I can just show you so recall our realignment video in that uh, there so we used to do realignment estimate and write if you remember uh, I guess it was the first video so we used to do estimate and write so this is for that and then there was this quality option then there is the separation option the gaussian smoothing kernel option so all of them are over here and i'll show you how you can get this okay from the gui how can you get the code i'll just show you in a second just let my spm open okay so my spm is done so if you remember we used to go over here estim uh, realign estimate and rewrite okay so this is and write okay so this batch editor is opened up okay so we specified these quant uh, qu quantities over here right so now what you can do is just go to view and show m code okay so here you can get the whole code of this particular thing okay so that is the same thing that i've put over here so if you see uh, matlab batch spm dot spatial realign estimate right e options quality so this is the quality then data so now in the data what i've done is i have given the path to all the different uh, functional files that are there in a particular uh, subject so if you see there is a for loop over here this for loop is for all the subjects so in subject list i have the four subjects that i just showed you 
so there will be this for loop that will be for the number of subjects and then slowly I am removing the functional data over here so this path list as the functional files and uh, the other files the these things quality and all these things can be specified over here so you can change this as well if you want a better quality you can put one so whatever parameters you actually change uh, in this window can be changed over here as well okay so these are the same parameters okay so that is realignment then uh, you call spm defaults fmri so basically you want to open spm fmri and then spm jobman will run all this for you so this will run the realignment batch okay then we'll just clear the variables that we don't need we'll also clear the matlab batch and then this is the frame wise displacement so if you remember in my frame wise displacement video i have actually explained this code uh, where is that frame wise yep yeah this is the same code that uh, that i've put over here exact same code if you see rest folder so the only difference that you may see is uh, that these file names because now this cannot be static like this it has to be dynamic for the first subject this name is different for the second it is different and so on okay rest everything is same okay and then it remove it gives you an excluded subject uh, vector and if a particular subject is excluded its corresponding uh, location will be one okay so that subjects for which excluded subject is one i will not preprocess it further okay so that is what is uh, what this code is all about okay <clears throat> So that was frame wise displacement. Now there are some questions that uh, we can ask over here. So this <clears throat> this thing will actually open a dialog box and it will tell you that a total of these many subjects. Uh, so this is a way to let uh, to just know how many subjects were excluded so that these many subjects were discarded. So if say 10 subjects are excluded so it'll give you a message box saying that a total of 10 subjects were discarded out of uh, say 100 uh, so in this case say a total of 2 subjects were discarded out of 4 subjects so I just have 4 subjects so and it'll ask you whether you want to continue or uh, you want to uh, not continue I mean just stop over here and change some parameters over here so that you can include some more subjects and so on so I mean you can just I, I'll show you a run as well after I complete my explanation I'll just show you how this works so you'll get an idea then uh, it'll ask if you want to do skull stripping so it will give you three options if yes it will do skull stripping by AFNI or you it will do skull stripping by FSL or it will not do any skull stripping okay so there are three options over here this is for default so default is no okay but uh, you can choose any of these three okay <clears throat> then we pre-process only the non-excluded subjects so this is again a for loop for the number of subjects now if that excluded of that particular subject if excluded uh, of that particular subject is zero only then it will enter this loop or else it will just get out of the loop and the pre-processing for that subject will not happen it will just go to this end okay so for excluded subject it will go over here do this and go to the next subject so none of this pre-processing will be done for excluded subject right and that is what we want right we don't want to pre-process excluded subject and waste our time right okay so then what happens is uh, if you have pressed skull stripping so it will first uh, give you so these are all file operations it will take you to the anatomical folder and then it will search for the dot nii file and all these things so if you selected fsl this is the command so if you remember bt2 is the command 
then you put the anatomical image name and then whatever output you want so say i am putting a b in the front and then the anatomical name so the output will have b in the front that's all so if this is anat image dot nii this will be b anat image dot nii right and then if you have if you want to do it with afni so for that uh, this will be two because if you <clears throat> see i mean if yes afni is selected over here then this will be two and if this is two then afni is selected so then this is the command for afni it needs a dash input and then whatever your in image is dash prefix whatever your prefix is right so like this you can incorporate afni and fsl into matlab and do uh, everything and let matlab do everything for you and then you read the so for the co-registration now you are reading the anatomical file and um, yeah and this is important and then here you are doing the estimate so if you remember for co-register we just use estimate we don't do estimate and write we just do estimate because we just need to estimate the co-registration matrix right so if you see go register estimate right so this and let me just okay let me delete this first right here you can see the estimate uh, code co-registration estimate code so over here the reference so first you tell what is the ref okay this is source so you tell what is the reference over here <coughs> okay not this one yeah so first you tell the reference then you tell the source then you say the other images over here so reference source and the other images are over here and then functional i hope you understand so basically this same code is basically copied over here with all the different paths to the different inputs that are there over here that's all <clears throat> so that's how we do core registration then i mean then over here if you just go to segmentation spatial segment So here, let me delete this. So these are the parameters for segmentation. If you remember, there are these six TPM tissue probability maps. So the same things are over here as well. Okay. So now over here, if you see <clears throat> here, there are four options. So say warp tissue has four options: none, modulated, unmodulated, modulated modulated plus unmodulated so none is zero zero so say one say let me just start from the first so native okay so for the first tissue <clears throat> so none means zero zero so if you put zero zero over here you'll get none if it is native then it is one uh, zero one if dartel imported one zero and this thing is one one okay so like this you can change and you can also see that over here i mean if you do show a dot m code you'll understand what does this actually mean <clears throat> okay so here you can see uh, native is one zero so currently oops I've, I, I've done a mistake okay so native space is actually one zero dartel imported is zero one okay so you can correspondingly see what are the codes for these different options and then accordingly you can put them over here okay so like that you can change the segmentation now this making csf and uh, csf and white matter mass are from the image cal c uh, image calculator module so if you remember this we get over here utils and image calculator so that is what i have put over here then this was for a uh, csf and then this is for white matter that you can see over here then you extract the mean csf and the white matter time series which is nothing but this code so yeah 
so here this particular code is the same code that is over here okay so you can see a lot of code is actually explained in some of my videos so you can go there i'll also uh, put a link to the uh, video over here in the i button so you will be easy for you then for temporal regression again there is a code so where is my temporal regression yep here is the temporal regression so this exact same code that i have explained over here is copied and pasted over here before that so there is this mask if you remember we had to first make a mask in afni or fsl whatever so here i have chosen afni because it actually gives better result and it is better to use afni over here because we need somewhat accurate results over here so that is but you can also use fsl as well then uh, there is yeah then here is the temporal regression the same the same ditto same code that i have explained over there and then finally normalization and smoothing that's all okay now there are some more things that i've put so now this particular thing is just to tell you how much time did it take for matlab to process that particular subject okay so maybe i mean it'll be helpful for for you somewhere okay so this is also something that you can do and finally it will display this message that pre processing is over i can now rest that means the laptop can or computer can rest and now we can get to work because now actual analysis starts which is where we step in right so yeah so this is uh, the whole uh, this thing pre processing so now what i'll do is uh, i'll just run the whole things and uh, meanwhile what messages and all will come let me just explain that to you as well but i'll fast forward this because it takes a lot of time so i'll fast forward it and then show you uh, what happens okay so let me just continue so it says running job okay so now it is running the realignment uh, module so that is this thing so the uh, so S, uh, matlab is over here currently so he will run the realignment for all the different subjects all the four subjects that are there over here right so here you can see that it gives you a message that a total of two subjects were discarded out of four subjects so there were two subjects that did not met the frame wise displacement criteria and they will be discarded out of the four subjects okay so it is asking do you want to proceed if you press yes it will continue with the other pre processing steps or else if you press no it will stop over here you can change the parameters and then rerun and then see if uh, if i mean so here you can see at least 50% of data is gone so it's not good i mean you'll not be able to analyze much right so you can maybe change the parameters but then don't change it a lot uh, so this is again uh, say 3 mm voxel space so you cannot increase it more than 3 mm right so that is something that you so whatever i had told in that frame wise displacement video so that applies over here okay so for now let me just pre uh, press yes <clears throat> so now it is asking do you want to skull script a uh, skull strip so you can say yes afni yes fsl or no for now let me press no so that it is faster so here it is running co register estimate So I fast forward this so that it happens fast. So here it is doing image calculator now, making the mask. Here the regression, temporal regression is happening. Here the normalize. And smoothing. 
that completes the first subject now this is the second subject that is running now i'll just fast forward this and come to the end so this is smoothing for the second subject and finally we have completed so you can see that uh, pre processing is finally over uh, matlab has done his job now we have to work so yeah that's all so like this you can script uh, all the different modules and uh, this is the end game for pre processing right so yeah that's all if you have any comments uh, please let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching thank you